Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see photo manipulation tutorial in Photoshop. Before getting started, you can download all the files used in this tutorial. Link in the description. Download it. Use it. If you got any doubt, let me know in the comment section. I'll help you. In case if you want that completely designed .psd file means, hit the like button. Soon after reaching under likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First go to the folder you downloaded, there you will see a PSD file called project file, open the file inside Photoshop. This one is a design ready file, you can straight away start designing it. I have given you the color palette, you can use it. Now we are going to create a background, select the background layer, create a layer, go to color picker, select white color, fill the color, I am using keyboard shortcut alt backspace, next create a layer, go to color picker and sample this gray color, now select soft round brush. This one. Now I'm going to brush the top like so. Of course, you can use gradient adjustment layer to get such effect. Now I'm going to reduce the opacity to something around 70. Fine, let's keep it minimal. Now I'm going to disable the color palette. Next, we are going to create our text content for that. Select the tree folder, create a layer. Go to color picker and select black color. The font I'm using is a free font. I'll give a link in the description. I'll keep the size as 995 and I'll type my text 1. I'll place it at the center. Now enable free transform tool and resize the text. Fine, I'll settle with this one. Next, we are going to bring in our forest image. For that, go to the folder you downloaded. There, you'll see image one. Open the image inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Make sure to place it inside our tree folder. Now, I'm going to clip mask the image. Right click, create clip masking. Now, enable free transform tool, Control T, and resize the image. Fine, I'll settle with this one. Next, we are going to bring in our model image, tiger image. Go to the folder, open image to inside Photoshop. Of course, drag and drop the image inside of a canvas. Make sure to place the image inside tiger folder. Now, we enable free transform tool and resize the image. Fine, also do this one. Next, we are going to erase the parts we don't want. For that, we are going to use masking technique. Now create the masking layer. Now go to the tree folder and select the text layer we created by holding Ctrl key in the new keyboard. Click the text layer thumbnail. Now again come back to our masking layer. Select inverse here. Now go to color picker and select black color. Now pick any brush. I'm going with this odd round brush. Make sure the flow is 100% and erase the parts we don't want. Fine. Next, we are going to add a shadow. For that, create a layer. Clip mask the layer. I use keyboard shortcut to do it manually. Right click, create clip masking. Fine. Now go to color picker and select black color. Now go to brush tool and select the soft round brush. This one. Now give few clicks to create such realistic shadow. Fine, next I'm going to add a shadow at bottom part here. For that go to the shadow folder, create a layer. Select black color. Again I'm going with the same soft round brush but I'll keep the size as 400 pixels. Give a single click, now we enable free transform tool and resize the shape like so. Now place it here. I'll reduce the opacity down to something around 80%. Fine. Next, create another layer. Zoom in and add shadow to tiger paw. Fine. Next, create another layer. This time I'm going to keep the brush size as 300 pixels. Now give a single click, enable free transform tool. Now right click and select distort this one. Now resize, sorry, now resize the shape like so. 
I'll place it here. Okay, this one looks a little bit harsh. Let's reduce our opacity down to 65%. Fine, I'll settle with this one. Next, go to the tree folder. Now create a layer and clip mask the layer. With the same black color and soft round brush, I'm going to give few clicks here and make the bottom part darker like so. Fine. Next, we're going to add two trees at the top. For that, go to the folder you downloaded, open image 3 inside Photoshop, drag and drop the image inside our canvas. I'll place it inside tree folder. Now enable free transform tool and resize the shape. Fine. Next, next I'm going to create another duplicate copy, control J. Now enable free transform tool, give a sorry, flip it horizontally. Now resize the shape so that it will look a little different from the previous one. I'll place it here. Now if you want, enable the eraser and erase the parts so that it will merge with the background image. Fine. Next we're going to add a plant down here. For that go to the folder you downloaded. That will see image 4. Open the image inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside your canvas. Make sure to place the image inside plant folder. Now enable free transform tool and resize the image. I'll place it here. Next I'm going to create a layer. Clip mask this layer. Go to color picker and select black color. Again I'm going with the same soft round brush this one. Reduce the size and give few clicks. So that the plan looks a little bit realistic. Fine. Next, we're going to add our fire stock image. I'll close all the folder. Now select the fire folder. Now go to the folder you downloaded. Open image 5 inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. I'll change the blending mode to screen. Now enable free transform tool and resize the image please do note that we are adding the fire stock image only to make the forest look like it's on fire not the tiger so that's why we are adding the stock image behind the tiger stock image fine i'll settle with this one next we are going to add smoke effect for that create a layer make sure to place it below the fire stock image now go to the folder you downloaded that will see a PSD brush file, double click and install the file. Now come back to the Photoshop, select black color. Now select the newly installed brush. I'll keep the opacity as sorry flow as 65% and I'll give few clicks. Fine, next we're going to add cloud image for that select the cloud folder. Now go to the folder you downloaded. There will see an image called image 6. Open the file inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside of canvas. If you want, enable the free transform tool and resize the image. Fine, I'll settle with this one. Next we're going to add our text content, select the text folder, create a layer, go to color picker, select black color. The font I'm using is a free font, I'll give a link in the description, you can download it if you want. Now type in your text content, I'll create a duplicate copy, Control J. Okay next I'm going to add a FX to our text for that, go to the fire folder, now create a duplicate copy of the fire stock image we used previously and drag and place it drag and drop it inside our text folder and place it right above our text layer so that you will get uh, such kind of cool effect so we are almost done as a final step i'm going to merge all our layers for that hit ctrl shift alt e now go to filter select camera raw filter I'll play with the temperature. I'll keep. I'll go with minus seven. I'll increase the vibrance and saturation. Now play with other color settings. I'll make the image a little bit vibrant. Click OK. 
So there you go. Our poster is ready. So that's it guys. I hope this video is useful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. For more tutorials, subscribe to our channel, click the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Take care.